in many ways, the book is more than a message. Mm. It's actually, I, I feel like an invitation. Yeah. It's, it's an invitation to be marked. That's even why it's called Life on Fire. And the subtitle is Becoming a Person of Prayer, Purity, and Power. There's a call in the book. It isn't just, here's how you live pure, here's how you pray. There's actually a call to a fresh identity. And when I think of fire, we, we, we often think of branding mm. or being marked, mm -hmm. something that leaves uh, something with you that after you leave the experience, you may be out of the experience, but you're never the same Absolutely. from that point on. You use the theme of Elijah, John the Baptist very, very often. And you're, you're really giving a call mm -hmm. to that kind of a lifestyle. Yes. So for you, after this moment, 11-11, I, I want you to talk a bit about your own journey. It's one thing to encounter fire, Yeah, is another thing to maintain fire. Because mm. some people can catch fire, but don't keep the fire they yeah. catch. It takes effort to sustain. In fact, it said in Leviticus, the fire on the altar must be kept burning. And so that encounter was like a kickstarter for me. Yes. I'd already been seeking God. It wasn't like I was living in a place where my heart wasn't connected to God. I was in a posture of seeking God. In fact, it was in my prayer time God encountered me. So it just started something. Now, the kind of momentum that started from that was it, God started to unravel to me who John the Baptist really was yep. in terms of spiritually. Because, you know, you can read the Bible and not really see what's really going on until the Holy Spirit opens your eyes because he wrote it so you need his insight to actually understand what's going on from heaven's perspective and I just want intellectual knowledge and so I knew the story of John the Baptist but all of a sudden it started to make sense to me as to how that was relevant today because the scriptures are prophetic they're not just historical they give us insight into the workings of God today and so the Lord started to show me how John was crazy how John was just 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 completely nuts and we don't think about it that deeply because we just know well you know John the Baptist locust the wild honey we just kind of breeze through but when you think it through you realize what he did was really radical because he was the son of someone who was in the priesthood so yeah. he had no reason to go into the desert he had yeah. no reason to live the way he lived but what happened was he was consumed by a call everyone around him probably didn't understand the depth of that call. maybe his parents did but he, he outworked that calling in a crazy way. And it was eating locust and wild honey, fasting often, and a life of prayer, and in the desert. Mm. So when you put all that together, it's kind of a bit odd. But when you look at what he ended up preparing the way for, mm. and the state of the culture that he was it was in at the time he was called to prepare the way yep. then you start to get a glimpse of why he had to live that radical so god was just saying to me james john was called to live radical james you're not in a desert mm. james i'm not calling you to eat locust and wild honey james you're not you know i'm not saying you know because john the baptist ate locust and wild honey therefore everyone you know we're going to change the name of our ministry to Locust and Wild Honey <laughs> Ministries International. Yeah, personally, I'm, I'm glad you're not wearing camel hair tonight, personally. <laughs> but the prophetic picture was his heart was burning for the Lord, yeah. and that led him into extreme actions of devotion yeah. and consecration. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus showed up on the scene, the funny thing is Jesus did not find a balanced guy to identify with. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Jesus found the guy that was on the extreme of devotion, extreme of passion. And so the Lord said to me, James, I'm calling you to be extreme in your devotion, extreme in your passion for me. And you need to work out what that looks like in the life of someone in the 21st century. Wow. What does extreme passion for me look like? as far as entertainment is concerned, as far as fasting is concerned. So in that time, God started speaking to me about 40 day fast. And so my mother-in-law, she just texted me out of the blue. Hey, James. She was like, oh, James, you know, um, it would be good if you go on a 40 day fast with me or something like that. And at that point in time, I'd never received a text from anyone <laughs> calling me to join them in a 40 day fast. It's a pretty rare occurrence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I said to her, uh, I'm already skinny. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, a 40 day fast is going to kill me. I don't know what I mean. Anyway, so, but series of things started to happen and God started to speak to me and that became a real clear call from God to enter into this fast, connecting to John the Baptist to prepare the way. And that all tied in with prayer storm. There's a lot of details in there I'm leaving out. But the point is that propelled me into 
this radical life of fasting i was already fasting at that point but it was like god was calling me to a real intense 40 days and if you're wondering 40 days without food or water well it, it, wondering why it was like a liquid fast that went on in that time there are all kinds of fasts you can do by the way in case you're feeling scared by that concept you know but it, it was a liquid fast drank water and drank some liquids every now and then and you know it, it was for 40 days and that fast changed my life in fact i often say you know i believe everything i'm doing right now in ministry came out of those 40 days there are two 40 days that were key Whoa. for me the first 40 day fast was when i went to the ramp and that's where i met you 2007 mm -hmm. and the second 40 days fast was this one i was going i'm talking about right now they wow. were so instrumental to everything that i am doing right now wow